Hello, it's me again, John Wellington Wells. Welcome back. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good middle of the night, depending on when you choose to watch. Today I'm going to talk about the rise of the machines, drum machines. Some would say that I have too many drum machines. I would say you cannot have too many drum machines, therefore I haven't. Um, I'll take you through some of them and the different sounds they make and the way they work differently and the way I use them in creating the music that I do. I hope that will be of interest. Welcome aboard. The first drum machine that ever came into my life was the Dr. Rhythm Graphic. Uh, this isn't the exact model. I had one back in the 80s when they were new cutting edge and what we could afford. We thought they were rubbish, but actually I think they sound quite nice now. In a sort of Bon Tempe. Sort of a way. After the era of the Dr. Rhythm, I moved on to a Roland TR626, which went nicely with my D50. Uh, it was the 1980s. It was the dog's doodars, or I thought it was at the time. Um, although the cardboard box toms and the flaccid kick drum and snare and the hi-hat all palled fairly soon. Moving on, 30 odd years, I bought a TR6S from that same Roland company in Japan. Marvellous fellows. And what do I find buried within? The sound of the TR626. So if I want to recreate the appalling sound of the 1980s, I can. Which is very lucky. So, moving on. The way that I work with my equipment is the MPC-1 provides the central clock for everything, which is easy. So, in the world of drum machines, the drum brute impact is what you can hear at the moment. does what it says on the tin, it's a nice sounding analogue drum machine. So joining in with that over here is the my most recent, the uh, Electron Modal Cycles, which is all FM, frequency modulation created sounds. It's more of a groove box than specifically a drum machine, it has keyboard sounds in it as well. So you could make a whole arrangement in there if you wanted to. Um, I'll turn the drum brute off and that's all you can hear there. The other groove box that I just loved in me is my circuit tracks which you can hear booping away there. Uh, which you can join in together with the other two. This is how I tend to work, by layering sounds from different machines. Over here we have a drum brain, which is supposed to be used with an electronic kit, but obviously I have no sense of rhythm, so I don't use that. Yeah, I bet it sounds like this. Or it can sound like that. Basically, it's a drum player. It's got a load of high-quality Alessis drum samples in it. Uh, it's quite programmable. You can change virtually everything about everything. Uh, and I, I tend to use it for 
real drum sounds like that. So then you put the, the drum reel on top. Type of idea. I sequence it from the uh, the Beatstep Pro because I find that's really good for drums. I'm not such a fan of it for uh, for other things. Don't find it fits my workflow as they say. And then there's the TR6S. Which is very programmable again and has a, a Roland D sound. I haven't put any of my own samples in it yet, but you can do. And it's something I will investigate at a later date. And again, it layers up with the other things quite nicely. and I don't tend to use loops so much in the sampled loop sense of the word. If I do, I chop them up and resequence them. Uh, in running in here at the moment, I've got some just samples which are being triggered from a sequence. Which again, this is very plain sounding samples, but I rather, rather like it. And finally, Esther, the MPC-1 has a drum synth, and there's one of the soft synths in it, which is very programmable, and again, sounds great, you can get all sorts of things out of it. This is what I've got out of it. So what do I do? Well, I tend to program them individually and then put them on top of each other and see what sounds good. appear to be that. I hope you found it vaguely informative in a vague sort of a way uh, and if you did click on the jolly old like and subscribe to the channel because it always makes me smile when people do. Thank you very much. See you next time. This is one of mine by the way. <laughs>